What's going on YouTube? We're back here today with another fantasy basketball mock draft. Today we're doing a 12 team points league with the 11th overall pick. Before we get into the video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helps you out. So Jokic, Giannis, Embiid, Luka, Curry, Tatum, KD, Harden, Cat, and LeBron round out the first 10. Lillard, LaMelo, Trey Young, John Moran, amazing options here at the end of the first round. LaMelo usually goes first, so I'll probably grab him just because he tends to go like 7 or 8 sometimes. So a lot of people expect him to have a huge year with Miles Bridges out. The scoring could go up. The assist numbers might go down, but him and Terry Rozier are in line for a huge year. He is hurt, but shouldn't miss too much time. And then John Moran is probably the second one I would want to get. Uh, John Moran also does usually go in the first round. But seeing that we have two picks right after us, even if they grab Lillard, Ja, or Trey, we'll have one left for us. So let's grab LaMelo and stack him up with another guard on the swing back. So there goes Trey Young and John Moran. Same thinking as us. We're going to grab Damian Lillard here. Tyrese is also another amazing get here, but it's really hard to pass up on Lillard. Had a little bit of a down year, but could really bounce back this year playing next to Simmons. Hart, um, Jeremy Grant, and Nurkic. So let's go Lillard here. There goes Tyrese, Bradley Beal, D-Book, Kyrie, Siaka, PG-13, DeRozan, AD, Sabonis, Bam, Anthony Edwards, Vucevic, Shea, Cade Cunningham, Jimmy Butler, Zion, Donovan Mitchell, Kawhi Leonard, Rudy Gobert, and DeJounte Murray. So LaMelo and um, Lillard are our first two. We could grab someone like De'Aaron Fox here, Garland here, or Fred Van Fleet. I'm leaning toward Fred Van Fleet. The three-pointers, the steals, the points, the assists are just outrageously good for him. Uh, fantasy categories, monster. I uh, projected 42 fantasy points a game, so that's really good. Uh, Garland could see a little bit of a dip with Donovan Mitchell in town now. And Fox did play amazing with some bonus. Porzingis, also a solid option. But let's go Fred Van Fleet here. And there goes Garland and Jalen Brown. Now, we could get someone like Fox. Yeah, we could get Fox. Um, and then maybe grab someone like Allen or Pottle on the swing back, two centers. Really need to lock up the center position because they go so fast. So let's grab Fox for now. There goes Scotty Barnes, Randall, Brunson, Chris Paul, Holiday, Ingram, Evan Mobley, Porzingis, Westbrook, Levine, Terry Rozier, Capella, CJ, Aiden, Jared Allen, Desmond Bain, Chris Middleton, Jonas Valanciunas, Christian Wood, and Paolo Benchero. So Jakob obviously stands out to us right off the bat. Uh, ben Simmons, yes as well, but we do have so many guards. I want to focus on our bigs just because they go so fast. So I'm grabbing Yaka uh, for sure. And then hopefully grab Sangoon on the swing back. Let's go Yaka. So there goes Sangoon and Nurkic. Kind of have the same thinking as us. So we could get John Collins, power forward. 33 fantasy points projected. Uh, Wendell Carter. Oh, Miles Turner is here. The three blocks, really good. 1.5 threes. Could get traded. I think the rumor is LA. That's been going on for so long. I actually think he might play better in LA. The rebound numbers might go down, but the scoring, the efficiency, the threes might all get a little bit of a rise in LA. And I'm okay with having Miles Turner being the number two guy in Indiana for now. So let's grab him. There goes Collins, Tobias Harris, Bobby Portis, Wendell Carter, Jamal Murray, Robert Williams, Wiggins, Josh Giddy, Ben Simmons, Triple J, Zubak, Michael Porter Jr., Draymond. Brandon Clark, Al Horford, Mitchell Robinson, PJ Washington, Chris Boucher, Colin Sexton, and Jalen Smith. With our 7th round pick, RJ Barrett is still here. Well, let's take a look at our team first. Uh, we do have our power forward, our center. Don't have a small forward yet, so that's something we can get with someone like RJ Barrett. Kellen Johnson's also a really solid get on the swing back. Um, I believe RJ Barrett is more likely. They're both pretty likely to go next time. The guy after us has been kind of on the same wavelength as us i think i'm gonna go rj barrett i like him more as a player than kelvin johnson do expect a huge year for kelvin johnson uh but let's go rj for now luckily kelvin johnson made it to us uh he got stephen adams and kelly olenic so a uh, kelly olenic is a pretty bad pick here in my opinion kelvin johnson would have been a better one or delo or really kuzma even but we're gonna grab kelvin johnson here being the main guy in San Antonio, his numbers are going to skyrocket this year. Points, threes, rebounds, assists, all going to be great. We do have Jakob Pato, but I'm okay with taking Jakob and Keldon Johnson just because I expect such big things from San Antonio fantasy-wise this year. There goes Drummond, Duran, Heald, Stewart, Montrez, Marvin Bagley, Klay Thompson, Claxton, 
Malcolm Brogdon, Anyeka Kongu, Jeremy Grant, Rashawn Holmes, JaVale McGee, Wiseman, Mobamba, Kuminga, Pokusevsky, Kuzma, Lonzo, and Brooke Lopez. Looking at our roster, we kind of filled out in everything. We got a couple small forwards, a couple centers, a couple of power forwards, and definitely a lot of guards. So really gives us a lot of freedom to grab whoever we want. Right off the bat, D'Lo stands out to me. 36 fantasy points a game, playing next to Cat, playing next to Rudy Gobert and Anthony Edwards. A lot of assists are in his future. Good open threes for him as well. And I believe they're staggering D'Lo with Rudy Gobert and Anthony Edwards with Cat, really allowing D'Lo to take more of an offensive load while playing with Rudy Gobert. So I really like D'Lo this year. Let's grab him. There goes Sadiq Bey and Mason Plumley. Now we can grab Jalen Green, uh, OG, Ty Tyler Harrow amazing options here Tyrese Maxey still here KPJ Jordan Poole so many good guards late into the draft OG we do have Van Fleet and we just stacked up on Keldon Johnson so I kind of want to stay away from OG Tyler Harrow makes a lot of sense but Jalen Green is going to be starting probably get way more minutes than him do expect a big scoring jump for him this year so let's take a risk let's grab Jalen Green let's see if he takes a huge step this year there goes Kevin Love, Walker Kessler, Keegan Murray, OG, Laurie, Thomas Bryant, Devin Vassell, Gordon Hayward, Karis LeVert, Isaiah Jackson, Tyrese Maxey, Kyle Lowry, Tyler Harrow, Kevin Porter, Anthony Simons, Jordan Poole, Jabari Smith, Franz Wagner, who I love this year, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Josh Hart. Gary Trent is still available, but again, we already have a couple of we already have um Van Fleet, Marcus Smart, another solid pick here. Our Brogdon is in town now. He may play more shooting guard than back. Well, he's going to play like backup point guard, but he may also play with Marcus Smart a lot too. So I'm not too worried about drafting Smart. Mikhail Bridges, great option. Suggs, Gafford, Trey Jones, another Spurs player. We're definitely going to avoid Trey Jones for now. I think Marcus Smart makes the most sense for us. Can play point guard and shooting guard, so I love the versatility. 31 fantasy points a game almost. Between him and J uh, Jalen Suggs, but I'm Jalen Suggs didn't have too good of a rookie year. I don't expect him to get up to 14 points in five assists he could but i don't see it so far i like marcus smart you know what you're gonna get from him let's grab him and luckily trey jones and monte morris went so we could grab someone like jalen suggs anyways mikhail jalen suggs gary trent cole anthony as well as here dylan brooks as well as here uh, aaron gordon kelly Oubre is there but i think we're gonna go bridges uh let's take a look we do have so many point guard shooting guards now uh, we do yeah we have so many guards so we could work on our small forwards for the last two picks small forward power forwards i'm grabbing mccall bridges makes a lot of sense defensively there's suggs walker gary trent dylan brooks Jaden ivy john wall kelly Ubre, cole anthony Derek white jordan clarkson Desumo, harrison barnes mike Conley, herb jones Devonte graham malik beasley norman powell kevin huerta bogdan bogdanovich and dennis schroeder aaron gordon Right off the bat, seems like the best pick. Lugans Dort is also here. Darius Baisley as well. Will likely be starting in OKC with Chet Holmgren out. Uh, Dorian Finney is probably better in real life than in fantasy. We're going to go Aaron Gordon. And then there goes Jay Sean Tate. Pretty solid. Uh, Lamelo, Van Fleet, Lillard, RJ, Miles Turner, Kelvin Johnson, Jakapato, Fox, Russell, Jalen Green, Marcus Smart, Mikhail Bridges, and Aaron Gordon. Got pretty lucky getting Lamelo so early. He usually goes like 7th or 8th, having him fall to 11, which I don't think is going to happen on draft day. So much hype around him this year. And being a one of the only two scorers in Charlotte, I expect him to have a huge year. But got lucky with that. And then pairing him up with someone like Lillard is a easy, uh, easy get. Fred Van Fleet, RJ Barrett, Miles Turner, really good options for us. Kellen Johnson, expect a huge year for him and uh, Jakob Padel being the two guys in San Antonio. Really do expect Lillard to bounce back. D'Lo to have a great year. Fox to continue doing what he was doing at the end of last year. And then there's some young guys like Jalen Green. Expect him to burst this year. Uh, Mikhail Bridges, I expect him to have a good year. Especially if he plays more power forward. Just because I think his play style suits more of a power forward than small forward. I guess him and Jay Crowder last year were pretty interchangeable. And Cam Johnson might be a little too slow to guard some small forward. So we'll have to see how that works. And then Aaron Gordon rounding it all out. Pretty solid pick. Let me know if you guys would have made any different selections. Do you guys think I reached for anyone a little bit too much? Let me know down below. And I'll see you guys next time.